Aquarius, how are you? I hope you are doing fantastic. I am coming to you with a reading, Aquarius. We're in a different setting. You're chilling with me this Sunday. I need some time out, guys. So today is the day, but I have to come on here to give you your reading. Aquarius, we are going to be checking out who is coming towards you. We have two decks, okay? We've got the Modern Witch Tarot and we also have the Astro Matrix deck, okay? So we're going to be seeing who is coming towards you. And with the other deck, we're going to be clarifying why, what are their intentions, what they could be thinking, feeling, doing, okay? To get, get you some clarity on your situation. Please bear in mind, this is a general message. So not every message will be for you. Please do not force any messages to fit you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you with me. Thank you for all of your love, your support that you have shown to me so far. Please like the video, please share the video. Please subscribe to the channel. It very much is appreciated. Thank you. Let's see, Aquarius, who is coming towards you? Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Aquarius needs to know at this time. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. Messages for the Aquarius. Who is this that's coming in for you? Who's coming towards Aquarius, please? Sorry for the shaking. My tripod is like on the bed. Three of Swords. Could be a family member for some of you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The star, that is you. That's your energy. Let me not show the privates areas. The star. Sometimes I forget to cover the certain areas that YouTube does not like to see on tarot cards. Somebody disappointed you, Aquarius. There's a disappointment here with the Three of Swords and the Star. You were hopeful, you were wishing, you were hoping for something here. Page of Swords, you were watching, you were waiting, trying to find out more. You could have been very much um, inquisitive. You were trying to find out something here. This is somebody who disappointed you, possibly broke your heart here. Five of Cups, yeah. This, you were sad someone's sad this is a person the tables could be turning in this situation i feel like maybe this is a person who disappointed you in some way five of cups is disappointment it's sadness it's regret it's upset you know with the fruit of swords you could have felt really cut up about something here but you still tried to maintain some sort of hope with that star card there you were hoping to heal something with this person this could have been a person you even had a disagreement with there could have been some sort of fallout here but i feel like now this person's having time to think and reflect on things there could be distance between you and another person for some of you there could be other people involved as well with that three of swords doesn't have to be but we're going to get more into this we're going to dissect this this is somebody who's sad now i feel like there's a lot of mutual sadness between the two of you but i feel like this has been created from some sort of disappointment between you and another person aquarius nine of wands is in the reverse i feel like something has been overdone like it's it's over exhausted something has been like road overkill i was gonna say roadkill overkill like whatever it is that's happened it's very hard to come back from some of you could be feeling very depleted as to what is going to happen now or how to, to affect some sort of change in a dynamic between, between you and another person. For some of you, this is another Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me more. The Judgment. Mm, someone's Choice disappointed you some someone made a choice here there was a choice a decision somebody could have decided to disconnect and walk away from you here aquarius could be a scorpio involved as well somebody emotionally withdrew somebody emotionally walked away 
from a situation. Their body could have been there, but their feelings left the picture. Or someone's did. This could be you right now. Chariot in the reverse. Something was stuck. Something wasn't moving forward, but you maintained hope that it would. Death card could be a Scorpio. Someone's really sad over an ending with you, Aquarius. They are. I can't get away from that. There's mutual sadness between the two of you, but the person who's who's coming towards you, whoever's got you on their mind, on their brain at this time, there's something about them having space and time to kind of um, ruminate, marinate on the decision that they made. They're, they're thinking about this now. They're, they're having time. They're having a moment of silence, if you like, to, to think. And they're realizing that as something is ending, it's like they're realizing the decision, the consequence of a decision they've made or the fallout over some sort of choice. The three of pentacles could be somebody who you collaborated with in somehow in some way could have worked on a project mutually there could have been some sort of common interest that you was working towards could be in any capacity this could be work like for money this could be a project this could be someone who you you know got together and um had a collaboration with in some sense of the word or there was some sort of purpose in order for you for you guys coming together initially could have met this person through work even or through some sort of um you could be in the same career on the same career path or you do something very similar the knight of wands could be a fire sign in aries a leo or a sagittarius did you get tired of just dealing with a hot and cold person someone was inconsistent here page of wands you could have found that this person was very immature Page of Wands is here. Could be a fire sign in Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. You are waiting. This is this is you waiting for somebody to grow up. Is this what this is? Waiting for somebody to grow up. Waiting for somebody to see the light that you was you was in pain. You were you could have missed somebody. Somebody could have put a guard up, up towards you. You could they could have been hurting you with their distance or there was something about them betraying you indirectly. Maybe this person didn't outwardly cheat, but there was something about, you know, you waiting on them to grow up, you waiting on them to take action, you waiting for something to grow, to turn into something else or to develop. And now there's something about here, what I'm seeing is, you know, <sighs> You were waiting for the penny to drop, for this person to realise that they're actually, they're actually causing pain, they're actually causing disappointment, that's what I get with this. They could have well have betrayed you, but I'm also getting you were waiting for a change, you were waiting for somebody to wake up, you were waiting for somebody to grow up, act right, something about that here, to be mature about something. And what you got was, you could have been met with a lot of defensive energy. Somebody could have love bombed you, but been defensive at the same time. Kind of had a guard up, but gave you little nuggets here and there. This could have been somebody who was pursuing you. Could have been an argument between the two of you. Could be a Sagittarius or a Taurus. Definitely could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Tell me more. They're definitely coming in with this Knight of Wands, but this is after you've detached emotionally from them. Tell me about that Knight of Wands, please. Who is that? Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is somebody who feels like they're not good enough for you. Wheel of Fortune. They view you as somebody who's doing a lot better than them, or they're... They're viewing themselves as less than. They're viewing themselves as not good enough. The, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can talk about insecurity sometimes. This person could be insecure about being able to give you what, what you're, you require or bring something to the next level with you. This could be why they acted so out in and out with you. This could be a person who's experiencing some sort of stability issue, lack of confidence. There's something about them, their self-esteem here. This person could, could be very much, on the face of it, seem very confident, very out there. This could be a loud person or somebody who is very outgoing, I want to say, more so than loud. Somebody who's very outgoing. Somebody who seems to have 
you know, a lot going for them. They could be very immature or there's a childlike essence about them, very carefree, very much, you know, dance, dance to the beat of their own drum, but it's like they don't have inhibitions, they just do things. You could find that this person's impulsive. You know, they may just do things on a whim sometimes, you know, that type of person. But this is somebody who's actually very insecure internally. They don't, they're not satisfied with their, where they're at in terms of their life and who they are as a person. But they feel like you're doing a lot better. The Magician card. They feel like you, you, you make things happen for yourself. You're very... They could view you as very lucky or very um, auspicious. Somebody who who good things happen to, you know? And it, it, it intimidates this person. Tell me more about that, the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. This, this is somebody who feels like they're not ready for a union. They want to commit to some sort of long-standing situation with the ten of cups but they're not they're not fully ready there's something about them feeling not confident that it can work the empress they they put you on a pedestal if i tell you aquarius they view you as somebody who's really got a lot going on for yourself and they don't view themselves the same this person the way that they view themselves is is very um they're in, they're insecure they're very insecure they want the Ten of Cups, but they feel like maybe they need to grow up a bit. And it fits with what I said. Maybe you view this person as very immature or not on your level somehow. And they view themselves that way, which is interesting. Yeah, this is someone who you had to protect yourself from with the Eight of Cups. This is somebody who you put up a guard against because it's like you were getting hurt. Your feelings were, were being sacrificed. You was getting hurt in a situation here. You were the one that was that was catching the brunt of, of some sort of pain that this person was maybe indirectly doing. I don't feel like this is a spiteful person. This is the thing. I don't feel like this person had poor intentions with you. I just feel like they weren't ready for what you was ready for, the Queen of Pentacles. Again, there's an energy of somebody here in this dynamic, whether it's you or the other person, Aquarius, of being more stable. Could be a Capricorn, a, Ta a Taurus, or a Virgo. There's, a, there's an element of one of you being more established than the other. One of you being more mature than the other. One of you maybe having more grounding than the other. Having more, having more. There's something about where you're at. You know, it could be your status, could be your mentality, it could be how grown you are. There's a difference in how you both are in terms of your stability and how ready you are for long term. There's something about that here, and that could have been the issue. Tell me about the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords. They do watch you, but it makes them sad to watch you because it's like you know. Imagine Two of Wands. This person's evaluating, they're at a crossroads at, at this time. Imagine watching something, you know, looking at something in a shop window. This is the analogy that I'm getting. You're looking at something for weeks. You're walking past this shop window every time you go and travel your way to work or wherever it is that you frequent, you know, and you're seeing this, this, this lovely pair of shoes and they're very expensive and you can't afford those pair of shoes. You've got so many other priorities, so many other things that need to happen before you even think about going in that shop and purchasing that pair of shoes but it doesn't stop you admiring the pair of shoes and wondering what your foot would be like and what your feet would look like in them how they will feel on your feet how you would feel having those, those those shoes on your feet as well there's something about this person imagining this person watching this person admiring from a distance and it makes them sad because they feel like they don't measure up the five of pentacles they feel like they don't measure up could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. They feel like they don't have enough. Somebody could be going through some sort of hardship, financial issue, stability issue here. They're between worlds right now. This person is at a crossroads with, with how they feel. You know, lack. They're feeling lack internally. And I feel like a lot of this is internally. For some of you, they are going through some sort of financial hardship. But I think it's a them thing. I think it's an internal thing. Queen of Wands is here. This is a person, again, that wants to rush in and, and, and initiate some sort of, you know, contact with you. They are coming towards you, but they don't feel ready for what you are. The Star and the Chariot. Could be a Cancer here or Aquarius like yourself. 
Tell me about that. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you hope for. This is this is what you're thinking about the longevity of a situation. How far can I go with you? How far could 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 we get? You know, Eight of Pentacles, and you was willing to put in the work. You was willing to put in the work. I feel like you're a very consistent person. I feel like whatever you put your mind to, Aquarius. It, it comes into fruition. This is probably why this person's viewing you as somebody who's able to make things happen. You manifest, you're able to do for yourself, you're able to make things happen. They view you as somebody who good things happen to, somebody who has good destiny, good, good, a good aura about you. You know, a lot of things are attracted to you due to this energy of auspicious. You know, you could be very lucky. You know, they could view you as somebody who's very successful, somebody who's had a lot of good things happen to. And they do watch, they do watch you. They probably watch you closer than what you think. The Empress. They didn't feel good enough for you. They they walked away because they didn't feel good enough for you, for you. For you. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Very, very rocky with their um security. Yeah. This is the person who overthinks four of swords and the two of pentacles this is the person who overthinks they want a new beginning but again they're they, they're self-sabotaging you know there's something that they need to change about their way of thinking they need to be more positive this is a person who has very self-limiting beliefs about themselves tell me about this the judgment what decision did this person make here ace of cups they do care very much Knight of Swords in the reverse. This person was impulsive. They disconnected from love. Something that could have really come into fruition. Look at this. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who made an impulsive decision on love. Could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. They chose not to move forward. They chose not to have something flourish and grow. You know, with the Empress and the Chariot card in the reverse. This is somebody who chose not to go forward, but it's their own insecurity that was standing in their way of something coming together. This is somebody who felt like they were being fair to you from disconnecting from you. Because they felt like maybe they didn't have enough to give. This is who this is. They're coming in. Let's, let's see what they're going to do here. Tell me about this person. What is their intention here? Because they still don't feel ready from what I'm seeing here. What is their intentions with Aquarius? The Queen of Swords. The Nine of Swords. They're intimidated by you. The King of Cups. The Queen of Wands. They, when I tell you intimidation, you don't. I don't feel like you're doing anything to even intimidate this person. I just feel like you being you, Aquarius, whoever you are, you're very powerful, you're very attractive, you've got a lot of charisma about you. You know, you walk in a room and the room lights up. You have an aura, you have a magnetism. You say it like it is. You know, they could view you as somebody who's very opinionated with the Queen of Swords. And this worries this person. It worries this person because they just feel like they're not there. They're not there where you're at in terms of your confidence or how how you carry yourself or something about you two of pentacles this is somebody who's still going to be going back and forth temperance they do want to make something right with you this person overthinks ace of pentacles in the reverse and the four of wands in the reverse they're about to miss out on a really good opportunity they may want to apologise. They may want to try and explain themselves. But I feel like they, they might not have the words in order to articulate what it is that they're feeling. Maybe, you know, they may not reveal the full depths of, of their insecurity to you. But this is somebody who does have a lot of love for you. With the King of Cups. They just don't know how to express that. And the reason why they're struggling to express that is because they just feel like they're, they're not. They're not where you are or there's an intimidation here or they feel like they need to work on themselves, possibly. Two of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is a person who's about to miss out on one a good opportunity. This is about, oh, this is a missed opportunity. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. 
four of wands in the reverse, ace of pentacles in the reverse, but that two of cups is there. There's a potential for something to come together, but it's because this person's holding themselves back from love. They could just want to be connected to you to hope that they will be ready. They could want you to wait for them or, or stall you in some way, stop you from moving forward to have this union, but they're not ready yet. Five of Cups, and they're sad about this. I'm telling you, they're very sad about this. I'm going to get you some advice. What should Aquarius do? Six of Cups in the Tower. What should Aquarius do? King of Wands. Could be a Scorpio. Definitely could be a Scorpio. Strong Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Ten of Swords. Hanged Man. The Nine of Pentacles. You've got a lot going on for you. This is the advice. You've got a lot of a lot going on for you. Okay. A lot of you are very awakened, you're very wise, you're very kind of worldly in terms of how you view the world. You could be somebody who's very down to earth, somebody who a lot of people are, you know, attracted to, or a lot of people could be um, giving you attention at this time. You know, you could be finding that maybe you're meeting a lot of new people now, and it's due to the fact that you're very much standing in your power. Whoever you are, you're very much a person who's very self-made on your own, okay? There's a strong message here, Aquarius, that if you hold on to the past, this person will attempt to come in. But again, I'm getting an energy of you're still going to have that hot and cold energy going on with this person. You're still going to have them maybe not fully divulging what it is they want or what it is that they're, they're, they're seeking from a situation with you. They overthink things with the Nine of Swords. This is a person who overthinks things. This person puts you on a pedestal. This person regards you very highly. They view you as somebody who's very opinionated, very much speaks their mind. But there's also an energy here of them just not being ready. And they're about to miss out on a really good opportunity here if they cannot speak up and, you know, just lay it down what it is that they're actually hoping to get from the connection that they have with you. They admire you, they love you, they have a lot of care towards you. I see that. This is somebody who you've dealt with with the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. There's also an energy here, Aquarius, that you holding on to this, you miss this person. You do miss this person. Whatever connection that you had with this person, I do feel like you reminisce over the times and the potential that this connection could have brought towards you, okay, and for you and them. And this is mutual. This is mutual. I don't feel like this person's vindictive. I don't get a bad vibe from this person. I don't get a person who's betrayed you. Okay. Use your discernment. I don't get that. What I get is somebody who's just not quite ready, but they want to be ready so bad. They want to be ready so bad for what you're ready for. And with the Ten of Swords, you're going to potentially be missing out on other good opportunities if you decide to hang on and wait for somebody to change. With the King of Wands here, you do have another option coming in. Somebody who's going to be very attractive to you. Somebody who you're going to be very interested in. You came out as that Queen of Wands in the shuffle there previously. You know, you're the Empress. You've got a lot of good energy around you. Your destiny looks bright, okay? For a lot of you, you've got a lot of good karma that you've accumulated from doing good, you know? from being um from being loyal you know from moving moving the correct way how you should with people with individuals good deeds that type of thing and you're about to meet somebody here who's probably going to be very much ready for what you are somebody who's very passionate somebody who's going to wear their heart on their and their passion on their sleeve you know you're not going to be unsure about whether this person is going to be moving forward or not but there's someone else hanging in the balance that is connected to your energy, Aquarius, who just doesn't feel ready. It's quite sad. They just don't feel ready and they are missing out on a really good opportunity for something really good here due to their own negative thinking, self-limiting beliefs, that type of energy. They see it all with you. You know, they see it all with you. Remember the shoes analogy. They see it all with you. 
They've been staring at those shoes, going past that window, going to work, going wherever they're going for a long time. This person admires you, they watch you, they study you, probably more than what you think, as I said before, but they just don't feel like they can afford you. And I don't mean money-wise, I just mean self. I just mean in self. They feel like they're not there. Quite sad. Aquarius, thank you for watching. That is what I have for you. I hope that you found something in this reading that resonates. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Aquarius, sending you love and light. Take care. I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.